Hello there, everybody. I just wanted to take uh, a little bit of time and, and just show a quick example of how to use Tween Machine to help you create breakdown poses. Here I have a Character Studio character that um, basically has an open hand that goes into a closed fist. Uh, it's basically just two keyframes. I wanted to make it a little more interesting by adding a, a, a breakdown pose between those two keys. Basically what I want is for the, the pinky to kind of lead the other fingers and offset the fingers a bit, so that's a, just a more interesting breakdown into that fist close pose. So what I'm going to do is uh, go up here to Max Script and click on Run Script and run my Tween Machine script, which will bring up the Tween Machine dialog here. Here I'll select the hand. What Tween Machine does basically is um, wherever you are in the timeline allows you to basically scroll through from the, the first key pose to the, the last key pose of any objects you have selected. You can scroll through and uh, pick anywhere on the timeline. If I want the halfway position, I just click on in between and I get the halfway position. I click on the next key and it goes all the way to the closed fist and the previous key is the open fist. I can type in values here. If I want to go to 25.36, I just type that in and it'll take me to the 25.36 position. And then I can, you know, add 10 or minus 10 from whatever value I've typed in. If I go to like a different value in the timeline, I want to uh, keep 25.36. If I click on the ticks here, It'll set the key at 25.36 without changing the value. If you click on the timeline here, the actual line, it'll increment by 20. Um, if any Mac scripter out there knows how to change that value to 10, I'd love to hear it because I'd, that would allow me to get rid of my plus 10 and minus 10 values. But as far as I know, I can't change the increment value when you click on the time slider. So if you know how to do that, let me know. And then the rest I have is buttons. I have a button for a quarter of the way, one third of the way, two thirds of the way, and three quarters of the way, if you uh, want to use those values. So right now I'm going to create an interesting breakdown pose by, uh, I'm going to go select the pinky first because I want the, the pinky to actually uh, get to the closed position first. So I'll, I'm going to use a value of 80 on the, the pinky and then I'll select the ring finger and uh, make that a value of 60 just by typing it in and um, select the middle finger and we'll make that one 40 and then we'll select the pointy finger and uh, we'll make that one a value of 20 and then uh, we'll do the value of uh, we'll give the, the thumb a value of 10 just so it kind of stays at the beginning and actually, I got the animation on the hand too. I want that to be at 10 as well, so I'll just go down here and click on the tick and make that one a value of 10%. Now I have like a more interesting in between between those poses that kind of makes it so the hand rolls into that fist position, pinky first. One other thing I'll do real quick, just because I'm here and I like to do this a lot, is um, just so it's not as jarring when it gets to that final fist pose and, and just comes to an instant stop, I'm going to give it a little bit of a cushion by, uh, we'll, we'll take and copy this key, key 16, and copy it to 24 and make 24 the final resting position. Now you'll notice when you do that with Character Studio, even though these two keys are the same, they that Character Studio interpolates itself or, or does some strange biped interpolation that smooths it all out rather than just holding it in the, the closed fist position. And the way I kind of, you know, deal with that is um, just my little shortcut way rather than trying to figure out the rotational TCB controller stuff is I'll select this key and just drag a key next to it and now it'll hit that and then linearly interpolate and it'll just stay put between those two keyframes, which is how you, well, how you kind of want it to be. So what I'm going to do is go and select the hand. First of all, select the whole hand, and uh, we're going to make it 90% uh, of the way there rather than all the way. So we'll go and make it a value of 90 and see how now it's, uh, it's a little bit open and then kind of cushes in to that final position. 
we'll just copy this key over as well. So these are both 90, and then the final position is the more tightly closed. So when it uh, runs through, it gets to that closed fist and then slowly eases into the final closed fist position. I could even go and do a breakdown here where it's um I would make this I would make this 90 as well just to make it get to that closed position a little bit faster and cushion in more. And so there you have it. There's how you can use uh, kind of our tween machine kind of helps in uh, not only doing breakdown poses, but even some in-between cushioning there. So I hope you'll uh, use it. Uh, if you do anything cool that you can show me, go ahead and send it to me. I'd love to see stuff. Hope you have fun and get out there and uh, do some cool animations.